Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a function to work with lists. And why would you want to do this? Well, because we often use code to iterate through a list and do something. What if we could extract this functionality into a function and then just invoke that function whenever we need it? That's what I want to do in this video. So we'll create a function, we'll say def, and we'll call it greet all. So it's going to take a bunch of people. So we did create a greet function earlier which greeted people, but now I want to greet every person inside of a list. So inside of the parentheses, we'll just create a parameter people, and then a colon, and then inside of here, we're going to create our function. And we can just treat this list like any other list. We can say for person in people, print, and we'll just say hello, and then we'll put in person. All right, so that's our function. Now what I want to do is create a list outside of the function. We'll just call it friends. We'll just put some values in here. And first one, I'm going to put Bob, which is the name of my invisible ghost friend from when I was younger. It's a little creepy, but don't worry about it. We don't talk anymore. And then we have uh, just a few other values in here. There we go. And now we can invoke this. We can say greet all and pass in friends. So we don't have to pass in each person to a function. We can just pass everyone to a function. And running this, it says, hello, Bob, hello, Josh, hello, Austin. If you still had your greet function from a video earlier, you could invoke that within this greet all. However, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So that is how you work with lists. Now, a thing with Python is you gotta be careful and that is you can pass anything in here. So for example, I can pass in five and we're gonna get an exception. So a different language such as Java would be like, oh no, you can't do this. There's a type conflict. However, Python, <laughs> Python don't give a crap. If you use the function wrong, that's your own responsibility, man. It's your fault. So some people like the compiling, some people like the more interpreted style. So whatever you prefer, that's up to you. But just keep in mind that when you create a function, people might use it other than you expect them to. And that is developers. Developers might try to invoke your function passing in the wrong data. So that is how to use a list inside of a function. Stay tuned for the next video because I actually want to try something new. I want to create a function where I can pass in numerous friends but they don't have to be in a list. I just want to pass them in as strings to this function separated by commas. Similar to how the print function, you can just pass in whatever you want. I want to do that. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to show you how it's done.